Okay, so for today's workout, we are going to start with a warm up. Then we have two circuits today. Um, each circuit is going to be about 12 minutes, and then we will cool it down. So I'll start off, we'll start off by um, warming up. Another thing about the circuits, we're doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for each circuit. Um, and we'll go through, we'll finish one circuit before moving on to the next. And I have a timer that I'll be using, um, so don't worry about the timing. Uh, you'll hear the beeps through my computer. So we will start by warming up. All right, we're gonna start with just some spinal twists. So elbows out in front of your shoulders. Start engaging that core, shifting the weight from one foot to the other. Now we're gonna roll back on our heels and up to our toes, warming up through the ankles and feet. We'll be doing some jumping today. Those calves warmed up a little bit. All right, now arm circles, start going backwards, big arm circles, take them nice and slow. And other way. So warming up through the shoulders. All right, now we're gonna come down to the floor for some cat cows. So hands are right under shoulders, knees are right under hips. Now breathe in, bring that belly down towards the ground, head and chest up towards the sky. Breathe out, round out the upper back, push the floor away. Work through these nice and slow. Getting some movement into that spine. Two more reps. All right, we're gonna tuck under the toes, send the hips up, we're in a downward dog. Take one foot up to the sky, and then bring it forward into a plank, bring it to the nose, and back to that downward dog, other foot. Bring it up to the sky, engage the core as we bring that knee to the nose. A few more reps, good job. We get two more. All right, and then we're gonna come to a plank. Bring your right foot outside of your right hand, right hand up to the sky. Often to drop that back knee down. And switch it out. Left hand comes outside left hand, or left foot comes outside left hand, left hand up to the sky. And switch. Switch. Switch, we'll get two more on each side. Switch. Switch, one more each side. Switch, and we'll come to standing. Bring the feet wide, we're gonna do some lateral lunges. So lean back to one side. Send those hips back, try and keep the soles of both feet flat on the floor. You should feel a stretch in the groin of your straight leg. Try and keep that back straight.
few more reps. Flag should be starting to warm up now. Good. Now I'm going to do squats to tiptoes. So squatting back, come up, come up to the tiptoes, try and balance. Squat down, come up. Try and keep those knees behind the toes. Chest is up. Weight is in the middle of your feet in the bottom of that squat. Few more reps. All right, we're gonna get our heart rate up. So first thing we're gonna do, just bunny hops on the toes, nice and light. Option here to stay on the floor and just raise your heels up and down. And shift the weight from one foot to the other. Option to take that jump out and just lean from one foot to the other, shifting the weight. Jacks, hands come up, feet come out, hands come down, feet come in. Often take the jump out, bring one foot out at a time, hands up overhead. All right, high knees, so driving opposite arm with opposite leg. Option here to march it out. Try that knee, as high as you can. And butt kickers, I'm taking the jump out. Can leave that little hop in. Snap the heel to the glute. Back to high knees. And butt kicks. Last time, high knees. See if you can drive your knees a little higher. And butt kicks. All right, and rest. I'm gonna go through the first circuit. So we have three exercises. We're going to work for 40 seconds, rest for 20 seconds in between, and we're going to go through this circuit four times. So our first exercise is going to be plank walks to a half burpee. So you're gonna start in a high plank, and you're gonna walk about three steps over to one side, Jump the feet up to the hands and come up to a jump. Option to take that jump out, come up onto the toes. If you don't have a lot of room, you can just step to one side and step back for about three. Jump those feet in, come up to that squat or to the jump squat. Then we have squat jacks. So you're gonna do a jumping jack into a squat. So hands come up, feet come out. Hands come in, feet come down into that squat. Option here, take the jump out. Step one foot to each side once. Squat down, up to the toes, and repeat. Then our last exercise of this circuit is a sprinter crunch. So we're down on the floor. Legs are out long. We sit up, bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. Trying to get your whole back up off the ground. Twisting those shoulders towards different sides of the room each time. Option here, keep the knees bent up, hands behind the ears, and crunch up to one side, getting that shoulder blade up off the ground. All right, we will go ahead and get started with our plank walks to the half burpee. Get my timer going. 
All right. Ready? Keep your hands right under your shoulders. Hips are in line with your shoulders. Remembering your option to come up onto the toes rather than to go into a squat jump. Good job, 10 more seconds. And rest. Next we have squat jacks in 15 seconds. Get ready. And go. So feet go out in squat, in, out, in, squat. Remember your option to take that jump out of the jumping jack, hit both sides, come into that squat. Job, 10 more seconds. Get low in that squat. Keep the chest up. And rest. Next up we have sprinter crunch. Getting ready to go in five. Go. Try and get your back all the way up off the floor. Use your core to help you twist. Move those arms kind of like you're sprinting. Remembering your option to leave the feet on the floor. Crunch up one way. 10 more seconds. And rest. All right, three more times through the circuit. Starting back with the plank walks to a half burpee. You can add that push up into the burpee if you want. Getting ready to go in two seconds. Go. Control those walks. Keeping the core nice and tight. Hands right under your shoulders. Ten more seconds. And rest. Squat jacks up next. Get ready to go in five. Go. your form on your squat is your chest up, our knees behind your toes. Almost there. And rest. Sprint your crunch up next. Get 
Ready, five seconds. Go. Good, all the way up. Great job, 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Keep breathing. And rest. Two more times through. High plank walks with that half burpee up next. Get ready to go. Go. Check that your hips are in line with your shoulders in that plank walk. Hips aren't popping up. 20 more seconds. Almost there, good job, keep it up. And rest. Spread your crunches. Get ready to go in five. Go. job, 20 more seconds. Keep breathing. I know this one burns. 10 more seconds. Keep that pace. Almost there. Rest. One last time through. High plank walks with a half burpee. Last time here. Go. up next. Did I miss squat jacks on the last round? I think I did, didn't I? Squat jacks. Go! Good job, stay with it. 20 more seconds. I realized that I skipped squat jacks last round. So if you are light or along there with me, we'll get another set in at the end after our sprinter crunches. And rest. Sprinter crunches up next. Get ready to 
ready to go. Go. Job halfway through this one, 20 more seconds. Ten more. And rest. All right, since I missed my squat jacks, I'll do them again. Sorry about that. Ready to go in five. Go. Twenty more seconds. Keeping the chest up. Getting low on that squat. Fifteen more seconds. Almost there. And the rest. This little bit on my little timer. <laughs> Okay, sorry for that mess up on circuit one. Moving on to circuit two, grab some water. All right, this for this circuit we have four exercises for three times through, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Starting with three plank jacks to a pike up. So what that looks like, is you're up in a high plank, being in an elbow plank will make it more difficult. So you can choose which one you want. So I'll pop those feet out and in for three. And then you're gonna pop the feet up as close to the hands as possible, sending the hips up to the sky. And right back. Option here to take the jump out. Step to each side, three times to each side, so that's a total of six. And then walk those feet in, close as you can to the hands and back up on those tip toes. Next exercise is gonna be six penguins to six crunches. So we're down on the ground, knees are up to the sky. Bring your feet so that they're slightly out of reach of your fingertips. Suck in that tummy, pull the shoulder blades up off the floor, trying to touch the heel of each foot. Walk those feet away to make it more difficult. Walk them closer to make it easier. So you're gonna do six penguins, then you're gonna do six crunches. Getting those shoulder blades up off the ground. After you have six, go back to the penguins and repeat. Then we have burpees. Good old burpees, whichever variation you want to take. So you can come down to the chest if you like, push up and come up for that jump. You can step it back instead of jump it back. You can take that push up out, take the jump out, come up to the toes. In our last exercise, we're gonna be up in a plank. Again, being on your elbows will make it more difficult. Bring the knee across the body to opposite elbow, and then out to the same elbow. So across, across, outside, outside, and just repeat, all right? So we're gonna get started with that first exercise. Three plank jacks and a pike up. Getting ready. Go. Popping those feet out for three. Pop them in for one. Send the hips up to the sky. Suck that belly button into the spine. Remembering your option to step it out to the side rather than jumping. And walk those feet up 
and walk them back. Almost there. And rest. All right, up next we have six penguins and six crunches. Get ready to go in five. Go. Keeping those shoulder blades up off the floor. Using your obliques to crunch each side. Think about sucking your belly button into your spine. Oh, I forgot my crunches. Six penguins, six crunches. Ten more seconds. Almost there. And rest. Burpees up next. Get ready to go in five. Go. Taking whatever variation you want. One more seconds. Breathing almost there. And rest. So we have our cross body knee drives for our Spider Man's up next. The knees go across the body, the opposite elbow, and then outside the body to the same elbow. Ready to go in five. Go. This starts to become too much. Drop down to the knees. Bird dog on each side, opposite arm, opposite leg coming up. And then crunch that knee to the outside from a tabletop position. Ten more seconds. Keep those shoulders right over the hands. And rest. Jog two more times through the circuit. Starting with the plank jacks and the pike up. Ready to go in five. Go. Keeping the shoulders right over the hands. Remembering our options to step it out. Job, 15 more seconds. Almost there. And rest. All right, next we have our penguins and crunches. You're ready to go in five seconds. And go. Six penguins to six crunches. Getting those shoulder blades up off the floor. Draw the belly button into the spine. 15 more seconds. Rest. Burp 
burpees up next. Almost done. Get ready to go in five seconds. Go. Got 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Stay with it. Keep moving. And rest. Cross body plank knee drives. Get the Spider Man's up next. Ready to go in five seconds. Go. That knee is close to the elbows as you can when you drive. Keep breathing, 20 more seconds. Hands are right under the shoulders. 10 more seconds. Almost there. And rest. All right, last time through. Plank jacks to a pike up. Ready to go in five seconds. And go. Check that your hands are right under your shoulders. Try and keep your hips down in line with your shoulders. Belly button is sucked into the spine. Ten more seconds. Rest. Good job. Six penguins to six crunches. Almost there. Get ready to go. Go. Good job, keeping those shoulder blades up off the ground. Suck the belly button in. Keep breathing, 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. And rest, good job. Two more exercises left. Burpees up next. It's my least favorite exercise, but it's our last time doing it today. Five seconds, get ready. Go. If you're taking a modification of the burpee earlier, see if you can make it a little bit more difficult. Go in a push up or so. Almost there, 15 more seconds. Five more seconds. And rest. 
One last exercise. 40 more seconds. Oh yeah, cool down. Get ready to go for this cross body knee drive with those Spider-Mans. Go. Keep those shoulders over the hands. Don't let those hands creep forward. Keep those hips down. 20 more seconds. You got this. Keep breathing, 10 more seconds. Almost there. And rest. Some more. All right, grab some water. Then we'll start the cool down. All right, we're gonna start with those twists that we started with in the beginning. Just to keep some movement while we try to catch our breaths. Slowly bring the heart rate down. Try and control your breathing. All right, modified jumping jacks. Hands come up, one foot comes out to the side at a time. No jumping here. We've done all our jumps. All right, take one arm across the other. Stretch out the arms. Stretch out the shoulders. From all those planks we were in. And switch it out. And up overhead. Try and keep your chest up on this one. Big puff that chest. Switch. Now we're just gonna bring the arms across and back. Shake it all out. And up and down. Good, all right, bring the feet slightly wider than hips width, point the toes out slightly to the side. We're gonna drop our butt down towards the ground, elbows come on the inside of the knees. Try and push those knees out. Try to get those heels on the ground and lean against the wall if you need to. Don't wanna be up on your toes. Drop the hands down, send the hips to the sky, stretch out the hamstrings. And back down to that spot, keeping your chest up, spine nice and long, and hamstring stretch, and down, and wiggle side to side if that feels good, and up. Now you're gonna hold on to both elbows, let the head hang and rock side to side. Option here, if you wanna get an intense chest stretch, then release those hands behind the back and bend forward over the legs. Let the hands hang heavy, stretching out the chest and the hamstrings here. Keep just a slight bend in your knees and move your weight towards your toes. You feel it a bit more. All right, slowly release and stand up. Stretch out the quads. So bring one heel to the glute. Keep that knee pointing straight down. And switch it out. I'm 
going to come down onto the ground. We're going to come into a pigeon. So bring your right foot up and across. So your right shin is up and across your body. Left foot goes straight back. Trying to keep those hips square to the front. And lean forward if that feels good. Stretching out the side of the glute and side of the leg. And switch it out. Square out those hips. Lean forward if you'd like. Sit up, bring your other leg around for butterfly. Soles of the feet come together. Knees fall out wide. Straighten out the back. Pull out to the ankles or shins and lean forward rather than down. Push those knees down with your elbows. Opening up through the hips here. In our last stretch, we're going to come into child's pose. So bring your big toes together, your knees come out a little bit wider, sit your butt back on your heels, and walk your hands as far forward as you can. Bring your hands over to the right side and lean in towards the middle. You should feel a stretch in your left side body. And walk it over to the other side. Come over to the left to stretch out the right. And back to the middle. A few more seconds here. All right, great job, everyone. Thank you for coming, and thank you for sticking through that cool down with me. I hope I see you all next week.